Greetings, and welcome to the 8th episode of Sly Style, the series where I show you all the techniques of how I play with a U-Ramp. If you're new, I play like this because you can place U-Ramps in places where you wouldn't be able to place a cone or a stair, allowing for better piece control. I made an entire video on it if you're curious. In this episode, we'll cover tarping and how it differs when using a U-Ramp. Most of the tarping is the same. Full tarps, bizzle tarps, open face tarps, all don't use ramps so it's the same. When it comes to tarps involving stairs, there are a few you can't do, but even more new tarps and strategies that are insanely useful as a tarper. For the normal stair tarps, you can do it with a cone instead. When using cones for this, you'll be able to get piece control ahead of time, but it will have less health than if you had placed a stair. But to make up for this, you can block enemies off much more effectively with this U-Ramp edit. Say for instance you're trying to stay ahead of zone, and there are other teams around you. Because the U-Ramp only connects to walls and not floors, it'll lock on to anyone trying to build a head near you. You can block off everyone around you to give yourself more space. If zone is pulling up a hill and you need to build up, place a U-Ramp in front of the team above you to block them off so you can ramp up without being blocked. You can reach up to two layers below you and two layers above you, three if you jump. The way this works is just like in the last video where Fortnite tries to place your builds above or below where you aim it if there's nothing to connect to. So if you want to place the U-Ramp here, you should aim here and Fortnite will place it above. Now for elevation changes. When you're going down, place a cone, edit it, then place a stair and reset it. Then build the walls to protect your sides. Here's what it looks like in full speed. When you're going up, place the two cones and edit them up, then place the side walls. You could also temporarily edit the cones into stairs while you do this if you wanted. This is better than temporarily changing the stair back to normal, because this way you still have the U-Ramp available to block off anyone in your way. Let's look at some of the more situational tarps. You have to use cones if you want to do this one, but now you can block both above and below you with only two builds, either by being above the stair or below it. Keep in mind, if you're tarping and your teammates aren't used to the U-Ramp, it's better to use the standard tarps and just use the U-Ramp to mess up opponents. You don't want to confuse your teammates in the middle of any games. Usually this doesn't matter though, since stair tarps generally aren't the best for trios, and in solos you don't have to worry about teammates. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments or on my Twitter. Thanks for watching, farewell!